Hi, my name is Alessandra Baez. I am doing the um, subcutaneous injection video. I still don't have a badge. I'm sorry. Um, I haven't gotten one yet. I have asked multiple times and still don't have one. Um, we are going to start by getting our supplies. So I have got my heparin right here. I've got gauze pads and alcohol swabs. I've got my injection pad, which is um, going to be pretend for um, the abdominal site or the back of the arm um, for a subcutaneous injection. And then we've also got a um, one mil syringe since we are going to be administering one milliliter of medication. And then um, for subcutaneous injections, we want either 25 to 27 gauge needle and 3 eighths to 5 eighths. Um, inches long. So this is a 5 eighths inches long here, so that's why I'm going to be using this. Um, we are going to verify our six rights of medication administration, which are going to be right time, right dose, right patient, right medication, and right documentation. Um, we are going to calculate our dose. So the heparin cut bile contains 10,000 units per 10 milliliters and we need a thousand units. So we are going to draw up one milliliter of medication. Um, we um, are going to um, enter the patient's room and introduce ourselves. I'm gonna say, hi, Miss Jones, my name is Allie. I'm gonna be your nurse today. Um, I'm going to provide privacy by closing the curtain and shutting the door. I'm going to identify or verify my patient's identity using two patient identifiers such as name and date of birth and checking it with the wristband. We are going to ask the patient if they have any allergies to um, medications, foods, anything seasonal like that. Um, I'm going to let them know that I am here to give them heparin, which is a um, blood thinner or an anticoagulant. Um, it uh, usually is administered subcutaneously in the skin, and it helps prevent blood clots. Um, I'm going to let them know that when I inject it, it might burn a little bit at the site of injection. And then I'm going to have them let me know if they have any um, severe bruising, any um, if they're diaphoretic, nauseous, dizzy, um, short of breath, anything like that, to let me know if they are if there are any side effects from the medication. Um, we are then going to um, perform hand hygiene by sanitizing or washing our hands, and then we're going to get our clean gloves and put those on. So I've got my gloves on. We are then going to um, get our vial, remove the cap if it hasn't already been removed, and um, sanitize with an alcohol swab. So I'm sanitizing that. Got that sanitized. Um, I am then going to um, get my syringe out here. So I've got my syringe and my needle already connected. Um, I am then going to um, draw my air back since we're giving one milliliter. I'm going to do that with the cap still on. And then I'm going to remove my cap. I'm going to stick it into my syringe or my um, medication file. Turn it, inject my air, and then draw up my one milliliter of pepper. So we've got one milliliter of heparin hard to hold and see. It's got one milliliter. And then we are going to um, make sure that there's no bubbles in here. Perfect. So we've got no bubbles. Um, and then we are going to um, make sure in the MAR once more that it is one milliliter that we are giving and the MAR says it is. So we are making sure that is correct and then we are going to select our site which is going to be kind of the fat of the stomach right here or in the arm so we're going to go for the fat of the stomach which is our little pad here and then we are going to um, 
palpate to see if there's any tenderness or if it's like hard or anything like that. We want to make sure that that site is good. Um, we are then going to um, clean the site using an alcohol swab, um, moving from the center out in a two inch circle. And we're going to let that air dry. Um, don't blow on it or anything like that, just air dry. And then we are going to make sure that our needle is still the correct size for the patient's um, weight or skin type. Um, since our patient has normal skin, the 5 8 needle is going to be okay. Um, we're going to make sure that we don't touch that site once it's been cleaned. So my site is clean still, or clean it in that circle. And then I'm going to kind of hold the skin where I want to um, put my medication. And then I am going to um, inject it by um, injecting it in and then grabbing this lower end and injecting it all the way in. And then we're going to take our gauze and um, put that over the site once we have injected that medication. And then we are going to not recap the needle. We are going to put it in our sharp spin. So there's our sharp spin over the here. And then we are going to give the patient a Band-Aid if they like. Um, let them know that it might bruise. And then we are going to remove our gloves. Perform hand hygiene and document that the medication was given at the appropriate time at the appropriate site on the appropriate patient and all of our six rights of medication verification.